So, my neighbor that lives right across the street from me, he has a, a daughter. Well, he actually has three kids. He has his oldest daughter. About 20, I never, never told me her age, but just looking at her face, she looks to be in her early 20s. I'll ask her one day. But anyway, uh, you know, she just recently moved back home for whatever reason. Uh, he talks kind of fast, man, so he, he probably told me. I just don't remember what the hell he said. But anyway, Side point. Um, she's a lesbian, right? She's a lesbian, and he hates the fact that she's a lesbian. Oh God, he hates it. All right, he hates it. Now, I'm certain he loves her, but I've never heard him say, even talking to me, him saying, "I love my daughter," right? But. He has said he hates the fact that she's a lesbian. He just hates the whole lifestyle. And she has a best friend, which is a guy. And the guy is gay. And he is, what's the word I'm looking for? He's livid, right? The, man, you should hear some of the things that come out of this, this man's mouth about his daughter and her best friend. It's, 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 it could be, it could be hate speech. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's like, wow, bro. That's your daughter at the end of the day. Whether she's gay, straight, bi, which is still gay to me, but whatever, whatever. That's still your daughter at the end of the day. Okay? Yeah, I know as parents, man, you know, we raise... You know, we raise our kids to be heterosexual and whatnot. If you're a boy, you're supposed to like girls, and if you're a girl, you're supposed to like boys. You know, and I, I get the fact that you know, you when this happens, some some parents, a lot of parents, think they failed their kids because of the choices they made. But it's only so much we can do as parents, man. When they go out to the world, it's their life experiences. Them. We, we, we do all that we can do. You know, and we would hope that everything that we taught them, they would apply, but sometimes it just don't go that way. It doesn't go that way. All right? But you may not like what they become, but they're still your, they're, that's still your child. You know? That's still your child. Love, love your child no matter what. That's what I'm saying. Love your child no matter what, man. Yeah, it's kind of upsetting to, 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 to hear that from my man. I ain't gonna front. Some of the things he's, he was just saying is funny. But at the same time, it's, it's sad. You know what I'm saying? It's real sad, like, damn, bro. It's still your daughter, man. That's still your daughter. Speaking of daughters, I'm about to go pick my little steak and wake up right now. I, man, I am so sick of her bus driver and, and their conflicted schedule, or their remedial schedule. I don't. Every day, my daughter comes home from school late, like mad late. She'll call me like, Dad, bus not here yet, can you come pick me up? Because, you know, she rides the bus on um, one bus in the morning, and in the afternoon, they switch buses and hold another bus driver, and, you know, they come home. But the, the one in the afternoon, this bus also drops off the middle school kids, then it has to go to the high school, which makes no sense. None. So you mean to tell me that whatever 
this is what I'm thinking, whatever budget cuts that, that, that were made, they cut back on the, uh, the bus drivers or the bus, the buses themselves, because there's a lack of the two. There should be enough buses and enough bus drivers to accommodate both schools. But that seems to not be the case. And the high schoolers, you know, they, they get home. They're supposed to get home around 3.30, 3 But they get home now around 4.15, 4.30, sometimes 5. That's the goddamn ridiculous. That's ridiculous. So, let me get this my daughter's first year in high school. So, it's like, I am, I'm always spending a lot of time at my, um, my youngest two schools all the time. So, you know, I'm, I'm really gonna have to start going out to high school and find out what the hell's going on, especially with this whole bus thing. Because this, this, is, this is annoying, man. This is annoying, you know? Kids get home, it's five o'clock in the damn evening. It's like, you know, I'm quite sure kid, teenagers got stuff they want to do. They come home and they got homework. By the time they done with the homework, it's already dark. The day, the day has, you know, their, their afternoon is gone. That's it, it's gone because they spent all day in school and all afternoon waiting on the goddamn bus. Stupid. So I'm about to go pick her up right now, rescue her. Probably, you know, my my other, I call it my other adopted daughters because my daughter's friends are just like my damn daughters, man. They call me dad and all that stuff, but that's beside the point. I had to end up rescuing them too. Right. I don't know if you're about to see muscles. I'm not going to We'll see when we get there. Well, like I told you guys, I had to go pick this one up, and there she is. Hi. I'm about to put you on the spot. She ain't even know it. Uh, so, look, it. check this out. I want to say something. I want, I want you to tell me if I'm right or wrong. All right? And then, 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 then you say what you have to say to the people out there. All right? Now, I know for a few months ago, you made your video saying that you she was going to do it on the, on the channel, right? Yeah. But it never came about. Yeah. Now, I'm going to say this. Just tell me if I'm right or wrong. Was the fact that what you got going on in school right now is just so overwhelming that it's like, I can't really put my time and effort into this right now because, ish, high school is not in middle school. Thank you. 
top of that, my phone, it's, it's not the phone you want to use for that, along with my tablet, because it's kind of dumb, but it's excuses, but still. Well, pretty soon we're going to take care of all that. My phone been acting crazy, being happy. Uh, if I just find my speakers busted, that's why I keep getting this weird sound on my damn phone. But um, an actual camera, a real camera, it's right, it's right around the corner. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? Really what said. Yeah, so. Um, I mean, because I make videos all the time, but. I have time when I do have time. You know, when I don't have time, videos don't get made. But, uh, you know, it's something that I guess you can say I'm sort of committed to. I've started it. I can't, I can't just leave it alone now. I mean, I can, but, you know, I kind of like making videos and whatnot. Interacting with people from who knows where. But um, I'm quite sure once this one right here gets her time management skills down, because right now they suck, I'm quite sure she'll be on the ball giving you guys what you want. And besides, it's, it's still early. It's still early, all right? It's not like she's saying this right now and it's her senior year in high school. She's a fresh, a freshman. Plenty of time, plenty of time. Right? What's going on here? What's going on? What's going on? Um, well, I'm going to wear a headpiece because my jewelry is going to be gold today, so. This is my gold headpiece. Anyhow, tomorrow. I guess this would, would be what? Ha Hallow's Eve? Hallow's Eve! Yay! I thought it was a little bit of day. Yeah, and then tomorrow is the big, it's the big day. And the big this, day. this one right here, her friends, they are, st they are still geeked about Halloween. I, I mean, I, Amazing. They want to go trick or treating. I'm like, I mean, I could just ask my parents to go get a big bag of candy. Logic denied. Have feet. I both try to take their candy. Not you a little too long to be trick or treating. Nah, it's not trick or treat as long as I can. But oh. you're 18 years old, 20, <laughs> 32. <laughs> Come to my damn door, talk about trick or treat. Oh my bad, trick or treat. <laughs> Like, bruh, <laughs> take your ass down the street, get your application <laughs> at the damn convenience store. They got all the candy in the world you want right there. Please get up and get on from here. Please get on from here. As a matter of fact, this is our first Halloween over here. It is. And I'm just saying, let's go pass out some candy bars. Because if they're going to pass out candy bars, then I might, you know, go like, oh, hey, you know, trick or treat. But next year, though, we're going to do the, um, Carowinds has Carowinds has um what's the thing called here? Okay, Carowinds. I don't know what it's called. I just know they do. Right. The effect is right here. There's a there's a, a brochure right there. Is it? No, that's not. Oh, here it is. It's, yeah, it's called. Wait, no, it's called. What? Yeah, Scarewinds Halloween Haunt. Oh, I can't so see it really. This is here. See it? Yeah, they can see. It. So, we're doing this next year. Everybody know about Carowinds. So, every Halloween, I'm just finding this, finding this out. But every Halloween, they have a, 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 a Carowinds has a, has a Halloween theme. So, we've heard it's supposed to be the best thing since sliced bread. So, next year, you know, we're going to go check that out and whatnot. Um, hopefully, uh, it's something that'll scare the, 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 the piss out of these kids. 
my, and my, you too. my son, he's a... He's a punk. <laughs> my son doesn't take scares, scares very well. It's a punk trend, God damn. <laughs> anyway, he'll be alright though. He'll be okay. Hopefully there's not a life-size Annabelle there. It's been denied. Because <laughs> then we'll be in a world of hurt. Well, I'll at least meet my wife with because they want to sleep with us. Not because big sister's no help. Obviously. Sure not. You are the worst. I love him. That's enough, right? Love him. You lodged on dirty once, that's why I don't start locking my doors every year. That's what he get. When I told him he had to go watch that movie, he thought he was old now. That's bad. How he get scared to deny he didn't get scared? Naya is Satan herself. <laughs> How's he not? Naya G. Yee yee. Anyway. Or she'll be back in a minute.